Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing? We're uh, back here on the Fisher Online. Uh, hopefully today we can level up to level 20 so we can get to the first saltwater location. I think I'm about like 60,000 XP away, so that's like between 60 and 100 fish, but d depending on which fish we end up catching. So hopefully we'll end up uh, getting this done. How's everybody doing though? Hey Buckman, Mr. Lazy, Isaac, Zane, uh, Leland, Mel, Johnny, Logan, Joshua, G-Dog, uh, Houston. How's everybody doing? Hey Joshua. Uh, why won't it connect? Hello, Fisher Online. Mark Hooley, thank you for the super chat, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate all of the crazy support you've had for the channel the last few days. It's uh, kind of insane. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's not letting me connect for some reason. Uh, I think we're just going to restart. That's weird. That is very strange that it wouldn't let me uh, connect. Uh, the only way to get rid of the doe only zones on the whitetail grind is to just delete them. Just kill all the doe. Uh, hope that the uh, hope the zone comes back to the same area. That's actually really surprising, Johnny. Oh, stream just dropped. That's uh, back. Y'all might need to refresh because the stream dropped for like two seconds and then came back. Hopefully it didn't, uh, didn't disconnect you guys. Hopefully it just buffered for a second. Thank you, Cammy. I appreciate that. Hey, Jackson. Is everything looking good on the stream? Hopefully it is. Oh gosh, why is the boat flipped around like this? Alright, well let's rotate it. Drop anchor. And we're good to go. Now I am doing a float rod with some uh, blood worms because I'm trying to get a um, some perch for the mission. Well, let's uh, get back in here and rotate it slightly. There, much better. Hopefully we can get some good fish today, enough to level us up. Yeah, we're 38,000 right now. We need 95,000. So let's uh, see if we can get up there. Uh, sadly, no Lunar. It's only on Steam. Oh, we might at some point, John. The only reason I'm not is because they're not as good of uh, money and XP. Because it usually takes longer to uh, get the good ones in. Welcome back, Zane. Uh, this game is Fisher Online. I'm doing pretty good, Joseph. Nice, Nicholas. Just watching that float to see if anything bites it. I know, right, Lunar? That uh, is that is typically how it is. That's one of the reasons I love PC is because there's such a vast variety of games. Just 
Jeez, Johnny, that's wild. That is wild. Uh, the bite's kind of slow to start off. Let's uh, maybe recast. Try to get these in better spots. Yeah, it's probably better right there. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't paid too much attention to uh, football the last few years. So I'm not really sure, like, who's even doing good right now. Oh. There we go. What do we got here? Uh, Golden Shiner. That's actually for a quest, so that's perfect. I don't think that one was big enough, though. Mark Hooley with uh, two Super Chats. Holy... Thank you, I appreciate that. That is super generous. Hope your evening's been going well. Although, if I remember right, it's probably not evening for you. Although it might be. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what the time difference is. In my opinion, Soup This is better than the Fishing Planet. It has a lot of uh, aspects from Fishing Planet and Russian Fishing 4 and games like that. But it doesn't have a lot of the pay to win or really extra grindy things that those games have. It's two o'clock. Jeez, man, that's crazy. Two in the morning. That's wild. For me, it's 512 p.m. right now. Welcome back, DJ. Looks more advanced than Fishing Planet. Uh, it might be in some ways. From what I've played, I really feel like uh, the way the water reacts to the fish and the way the fish fight seems more realistic than Fishing Planet. Hey, Sean, I'm doing good, man doing good NFC championship is, hold on we got a fish is going to be 49ers versus Rams and Bengals versus whoever wins tonight oh my gosh could the Bengals win a Super Bowl for the first time ever have they ever won I don't think they have right I don't recall the Bengals ever winning somebody just got a trophy fish 10 pound black bass. That's crazy. That's a big male. Just like that eel right there. Oh, I think there was something on uh, line one. I think we had something on the float rod because that is not where I cast out. Pretty sure it's moved over to the right while we were fighting that fish. They don't have a Super Bowl? I didn't think so. That's wild if they get one. Seven, seven, eight, seven. Yeah, it looks like a lot of you guys are about two to three hours ahead of uh, what my time is. Jeez, this bite's really slow today. We might have to go to one of my other locations. Oh, right as I say that, we get one. Uh, whatever this is, it's tiny. Oh my gosh, that is the tiniest channel cat. Three pound channel catfish. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I don't even know if that's worth keeping. Not really gonna be worth much. Now we're probably gonna recast this out. Let's keep an eye on that float.
Uh, sadly, no, Nicholas. We didn't get any level nines. We found two diamond turkeys, a albino bighorn sheep, and a minimum weight Rocky Mountain elk bull. Bills versus Chiefs, geez. As long as the Bills don't win, I'll be okay with it. <laughs> Twelve fourteen in Australia? Holy. Is the game free? No, this game is, I believe, $15. But honestly, that's pretty good. For the quality of the game, 15 bucks is pretty good. Yeah, that's crazy, Johnny. That's crazy. Hey, Mark, how's it going, man? Oh, line two. Yeah, the bite's definitely slow. I mean, it is nighttime, so that's part, partially to do with it, but typically, like, even at nighttime, I'm getting a bunch of eel or catfish, and we're not really getting a lot of that. Yeah, that's a bass right there. Five pound, nine ounce black bass. Which, black bass is basically just a largemouth. Hey, Ty, how's it going, man? Uh, no, Joshua, it's not on console. It is a, uh, Steam-only game. Already another bite on line two. Rod number two going crazy right now. Hey, muskrat... What's my favorite game to play right now? Uh, to be honest, this game is. I have been like super addicted to Fisher Online. Been playing it even more than I've been playing Call of the Wild. I think I've put like 27 hours into this game in the last like six days. Five or six days probably. Been playing it a lot. Because it's one of those games where, like, I can just have it up with my rods out like this and then just, like, edit a video while I'm playing. It's a pretty good game for when I'm, like, doing other stuff. There we go. Rod number three finally coming in with another fish. A very small, small mouth. And rod two already has another fish. Yeah, rod two is just going crazy. We're getting fish after fish. Yeah, Kudu Slayer, I remember you, man. Hey, Afro, how's it going? Yeah, YouTube has that problem sometimes. A lot of times, the only way to get, like, a... Uh, Reliable notifications is by uh, doing the bell icon next to the subscribe button because that'll That's basically a, a notification button. It'll send notifications to you, uh, but sometimes even that isn't reliable uh, Best way to know a hundred percent whenever I'm live is through my discord Because on my discord server, I always uh, post the stream and tag everybody in it so that everybody knows when I go live. Let's recast this. Get it in a better spot. Nothing on the float. Unfortunate. We still need to get uh, golden shiners and we also need to get some perch. Honestly, I think what I'm going to do is change from blood worm to just regular worm. That might be the move. That might be the move to get us some yellow perch. Hey, Salty, it's going good, man. I've been doing pretty good today. We had a crazy good Call of the Wild stream, getting two diamond turkeys, an albino bighorn, and uh, a minimum weight Rocky Mountain elk bull. It was a pretty good stream. And uh, we're off to a good start today here as well. We don't have like a ton of fish yet, but we got a decent amount. 
I actually have a few in here from earlier, I think. Yeah, a few of these are from earlier. Yeah, because this is the first one we caught today, so I, had, I already had four in here. What? What was that? Oh, I think that was the tournament thing starting. The musky tournament. Uh, let's see what quests we have available. None of these are really for any fish that I'd like to go for. Yeah, I think we'll just keep it to the ones that we have. Hey, Blitz, how's it going? Don't wait, don't waste mustard. <laughs> how's it going, Sam? Yeah, it was pretty good, Salty. I was happy with how it went. Uh, my favorite football team was always the Patriots. I haven't watched football since 2014, but back when I did used to watch it, it was always the Patriots that I loved watching. Uh, yes, I do fish in real life, uh, Tomlet. Best fish I've had was a 42 pound, 42 inch Chinook salmon. Oddly enough, though, it was not the hardest fighting fish I've had because, uh, unfortunately, it was a slightly older one. So basically, it had been in the uh, river for probably a couple weeks and it was starting to get a golden color to it. And usually when they get to that stage, they lose energy. So it only took like 10 minutes to get it in. Hardest fighting fish I ever had was a 33 pound chrome bright Chinook hen. Fought that thing for like 30 minutes. Pats haven't been the same without Brady. Yeah, I could imagine. I mean, losing your star quarterback's got to be rough. It's crazy, like... They lose Brady and then Brady goes and wins a Super Bowl with, with the Buccaneers. It's crazy. Okay, this is probably a bass because it's rushing left. It could be an eel, but I think it's a bass. Yeah, it's a decent smallmouth. Yeah, it's a good one. Four pound, nine ounce. Not bad. Hey, Glooper, how's it going, man? This is another stream indeed. Nice, Afro. I would love to fish for some catfish, but there's not a lot of good catfishing in Oregon, sadly. And I really know nothing about it, so even if I did have like a really good catfish lake near me, I probably wouldn't really be able to do too much. But uh, Oregon's got primarily like cold water fish, not too many uh, warm water species, and the ones that we do have are not nearly as good as other states. Like uh, a lot of the largemouth are much smaller here than they are in other areas. In fact, I think the state record for largemouth isn't that big. I think it's like 13 pounds. Whereas like the world record's like 22 or 23 or something like that. We do have some pretty crazy good smallmouth bass fishing, though. Yeah, Sam. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know too much about who's on what teams anymore. I don't even know the players of, like, any of the teams nowadays, really. Nice, Afro. Ours I've had was about an hour on the biggest bass of my life. It was not that big, just kept coming off the hook. Gotcha, muskrat. Yeah, I like that heart pattern on that gator. It is pretty cool. Oh. I just saw the tip move on rod number two. 
I think at least. Maybe I'm just seeing things, but I swear I saw it move. Let's uh, go ahead and freeze a couple of these heavier fish. There. Oh, no, there was something on Rod, too. Where you live, the record's an 18-pound bass cheese. That is huge. Yeah, I think the best best largemouth taken in Oregon was like 13 pounds, so it's not really that big. Um, I know the record smallmouth for Oregon is actually not far off of the world record. If I remember right, the world record for smallmouth is like 11 pounds, and I, I don't remember the ounces. I think it was like 11 pounds, 7 ounces or something like that. And I think the biggest one taken in Oregon was like 10 pounds, so we've got really good smallmouth fishing. But uh, the largemouth fishing, sadly, just doesn't compare to a lot of places. Which is unfortunate, because I'd love to get into uh, largemouth fishing, but... Most of the places around here, it's not uh, nearly as exciting as other states. Nice, Salty. Had a feeling we we're going to lose just because of the hype for them. Didn't think it would be because of a blocked field goal and a punt block for a touchdown. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's definitely not something you see every day. And I'm assuming you're talking about the Packers, right? Had a perch messing with my rod, then a pick roll slammed it. Holy. Holy, holy. I've always wanted to uh, fish for pickerel, but I don't think we have any here in Oregon. I know for a fact we don't have pike or musky, and I'm pretty sure pickerel have only been spotted in Oregon like once or twice. We've got a lot of uh, salmon and trout species, though. Hey, three creepers. That's why you gotta be in the Discord, man. If you're in the Discord, you'll get those notifications instantly. I think so, Tomlin. That sounds familiar. I know we have a yellow perch and we have a lot of saltwater uh, perch species. Yeah, snakeheads seem pretty cool. Hey, Caden, how's it going, man? Sorry to hear that. Oh, you are in the Discord? Well, then. I'm just... I'm guessing you probably don't have the notifications up, then. Because I send out a uh, notification for every stream and tag the uh, at everyone. This actually seems like a decent fish. Let's see if we can see what it is. Ooh, that's a big white bass. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it's close to five pounds. That's a big one. Pretty much as big as they get without being a trophy. That's a solid fish. We got a lot of bass. This will sell really well. Probably like 600 credits worth of fish. And we got a couple in the freezer as well. Oh. Hey, Smash, how's it going, man? Oh, that's not good, Caden. Sorry to hear that, man. What region am I fishing in? This is the um, Thousand Islands. It's one of the DLC locations.
was tired, so that was complete victory for me after he came off my hook and got him with my hands. Jeez, Muskrat. That's wild, dude. Oh, gotcha, Tomlet. Gotcha. Yeah, I know we got a lot of perch species that are uh, saltwater ones, but I can't remember the names of all of them. Hey, Hunter Fisher, how's it going, man? Fishing and Call of the Wild? To be honest, I don't want to see them do that because they've already got enough stuff to worry about. Fishing would probably just uh, cause too many bugs in Call of the Wild. It would just create a bunch of unnecessary problems. That would be an interesting Super Bowl, Johnny. That'd be one of the weirdest ones. Nothing's going for the worms on the float. So I think we're going to go back to the blood worm. Because at least with that we were getting golden shiners. And those are for one of the quests we're on. I might just need to buy a lighter line. For some of these smaller fish like the perch. When is saltwater fishing? Well, the stream is basically just unlocking the saltwater fishing. We're trying to get leveled up to, so that we can unlock it. We are halfway there. We gotta hit level 20 and then I'll have the first saltwater location unlocked. So, let's see. Each fish gives like 500 to a couple thousand XP. At this rate, maybe 30 to 50 fish and we'll get it. It is, Mark. It's a great game. I've been addicted to it ever since I got it. it in my opinion, this is the most, like, well-put-together fishing game out there. Come on. Come on. Stop playing with it. Just bite. There we go. Is that another Golden Shiner? It is, but it's not quite big enough. It needs to be 8 ounces or larger. So that little guy will not count towards the quest. Wow, eight pound test, really? That's wild. I'm pretty sure I've always used 20 pound. And I know my dad always used like, I think 40 or 50 pound braid. Actually, I think I always used 25-pound uh, mono. Pretty sure I always used 25-pound monofilament line. And then my dad always used, uh, like, a 30 or 40-pound braided line. And that was for uh, Chinook and Steelhead. I'm pretty sure he went with a lighter setup for Steelhead, though, like the 20 or 25-pound line. Uh, nothing this year, Talon. Haven't been able to go out hunting and uh, haven't got to go out fishing this year yet either. Probably going to go ahead and get my fishing license and uh, probably a steelhead tag as well, though, sometime soon and see if we can get out and get a few late steelhead. Six pounds, 13 ounces. Not bad. That's a good one. Do I prefer hunting or fishing? In real life, I prefer fishing. Uh, just because it's a little bit easier for me to do with my busy life. Ooh, that's a good fish. That feels like a hefty fish. I think it's a catfish. Which is actually kind of unfortunate because they don't give nearly as much money per pound. Not quite as good of a value as the bass are. This seems like a chunky one. Yeah, it's a decent catfish. 
12 pounds. Not huge, but decent. Now we take that guy and freeze it. That way we can save the weight in our keep net. Yeah, I like to use like six pound line for trout. I, I've always been like an ultralight fishing person when it comes to like trout. Because it's just a lot more fun to use ultralight tackle on them. Uh, yeah, we do have rainbow trout. We have rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, brook trout, brown trout, uh, lake trout, bull trout. Oh. Another tiny golden shiner. Once again, not big enough for the quest. Have you ever been duck or goose hunting? No, I have not. I haven't been able to go out for uh, any waterfowl. I went out for grouse once, but didn't get anything. There's another one. At this rate, we're going to be leveled up high enough to go to that uh, salt water location in no time. Although this seems like another catfish. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's a tiny catfish. Four pounds. What are you? Gonna let that one go. Oh, we got something on the bobber. Please be a slightly larger one. Oh, it's a rainbow smelt. Wow. There was some uh, quests for that as well, and I didn't accept them. Bubbles, thank you for renewing your membership. 15 months. Holy. That's crazy, dude. 15 months, jeez. Yeah, it's crazy, Bubbles. 15 months. Oh my gosh. That is crazy, man. We got a mission for Silver Salmon, but... That one's probably not as worth doing as the... Uh, actually, no, both of them really I wouldn't be able to do super easily at the location I'm currently at. I'd have to move to a different spot. I'm going to decline that one now, and we'll actually just wait for a better one to pop up. I haven't seen any bass ones show up in a while, and that's mainly what I'm looking for, because they're going to be the easiest to complete. Gee, Smash, that's wild, dude. A Koho are crazy. They are, like, some of the hardest fighting salmon I've ever uh, been able to fish for. Like, they are crazy. The thing about coho, or uh, I, they're also called silver salmon, but the thing about them is a lot of times when you hook them, if you're uh, fishing for them in rivers, which I, most of the time you would be, but uh, they will shoot straight up and then immediately shoot straight down and then go back up and back down and they'll just repeat that until they tire out. It's crazy. They are by far like one of the most fun fish. I really enjoy fishing for uh, silver salmon. Nice, Hunter Fisher. Yeah, those are all awesome fish. All a lot of fun. Nice, Carnivore Ben. Hopefully you enjoy it, man. I've been having so much fun on it. Oh, that's not good, Joshua. That's not good, man. Don't want to be forgetting that. I'm going to recast. These have been out for a while with nothing. I think it's time to put them into a different spot. Yeah, they definitely are, Brandy. Some of the most fun fish to chase after. It's just crazy, like, the sheer speed they have going up and down the river. Like, you have to really be on point with reeling in super quick to catch up with the line. Have you fished King Salmon? Yes, I have. Uh, my biggest fish is actually a king. 42 pound hen.
Yeah, I guess all we needed was a recast. Once again, a catfish. Not what I need. Nice, muskrat. Yeah, I wish there was better bass fishing in Oregon. I would bass fish a lot if we had uh, better fishing here, but uh, it's mainly the cold water fish that make Oregon shine when it comes to fishing. That's a little bit bigger one, I think. Large golden shiner. Still not big enough for the mission, though. <laughs> That's cool, though. That's the first large one I've had. Nice, Talon. That's awesome, dude. Was watching your Call of the Wild live earlier. Probably the best live stream that I know. Thank you, man. That means a lot. I'm glad that you enjoy it. I bet, Bubbles. I really wish we had some good bass lakes here in Oregon. I mean, we've got a couple that are pretty decent, but, like, the fish still aren't that big. Like, um, the lakes that do have bass in Oregon, a lot of them have plentiful bass, but they're just not very big. A lot of them are, like, sub three pounds. Like, in Oregon, a five-pound bass is a monster. Five pounds plus is a big bass in Oregon. Jeez, Hunter Fisher, that's crazy, dude. That's a nice smallie. Is this game like The Hunter? Uh, not really. It's more close to games like Russian Fishing 4 and Fishing Planet. It's much more similar to those games as it is a uh, fishing game. There we go. Hey, we got a yellow perch. That's what we were after. Oh gosh, it's going to take so long to complete the daily quest. We need to get 8 pounds of perch and that's only 8 ounces. <laughs> Oh, that's going to take forever. <laughs> that's going to take so long. We can do it, though. Uh, for the second perch quest, though, we only need one more above 6.8 ounces. That's a little more doable. This rain is just coming down like crazy right now. Nice, Trevor. Do we have a dove season? I believe so. Nice, Salty. That's a big smallmouth. That is a big smallmouth. Oh. Oh, is that another perch? I think it is. No, it's a crappie. It's a crappie. You know, I kind of like running one float rod and then two bottom rods just so we get more variety in fish. Kind of keeps it fresh. We got a pretty good amount of fish in our uh, keep net right now. I'm going to have to see how much some of these smaller fish actually sell for to see if they're really uh, worth it. And they're probably not going to be worth it, but I mean, they're so light that it really doesn't matter too much. It doesn't take up a lot of space. That's a decent fish. This one's feeling kind of hefty. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a decent bass. Four pounds smally. Nice, Chipper. That's awesome, dude. I know this game is not on Xbox, sadly. It's only on PC. Hey, Clax, how are you doing, man? Saw this vid on how to mount fish. Just skin it out, trim some foam, and put it in with some eyes. Way harder than it sounds, but I want to try it. That does sound like it would be an interesting little project to do. Oh, another one. 
Rod number one's just been getting hammered by these little fish. Another crappie. Well, I found the way to get the crappie at least. And there's usually a lot of quests for them, so that's good. Gonna be a little bit before we get some new quests here, though. Is that what I think it is? No, it's a smallmouth. For a second, the outline looked kind of like a musky, but it is just a smallie. Uh, what's our XP at now? 53,800 of 95k. Yeah, we got a long ways to go. But the bites kind of slowed down, so... That's expected that it's not going super fast. Caught a six pound largemouth last summer here in Wisconsin. That's awesome, dude. That's a pretty big bass. Ah, that's unfortunate, Smash. You know, you want to hear something that's just beyond stupid, in my opinion? I don't know um, what the numbers have been like the last couple years, but... One of the rivers that I have fished quite a bit here... It used to have, like... A crazy amount of... Actually, I think this is really for, like, a lot of the rivers around here. I think there's a few of them that are roughly the same, but... Let's say there's like 30,000 Chinook salmon that come up through the river every uh, year to spawn, right? We have probably, throughout most of the rivers that get silver salmon, we have probably three times that in uh, silver salmon. Like 100k silver salmon. Yet they limit you to like two a year. And on some of them you can't even fish for the silver salmon. And the only reason that you can't is because they're wild. So there's only like 30,000 hatchery Chinook salmon. And then like 100,000 wild silver salmon. But you can keep like 20 Chinook a year. And you can't keep the silver salmon in most of the rivers. That has always just blown my mind. Like, a lot of the rivers here in Oregon have very healthy silver salmon populations. But they just limit them so much, even though they are beyond, like, the numbers are, like, beyond, uh, what's the word? They're beyond healthy numbers of salmon. It just blows my mind that they limit them so much when there's so, so many of them. I'm not really mean blocks, we're just trying to level up. It's a good game, Slither. I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's a very well put together fishing game. And one thing I really want to try that I haven't been able to yet, because uh, it's kind of expensive to purchase the rod and reel for it, but they have fly fishing in this game as well. And I've heard that it's really good. So I'm trying to get like a high enough level and enough money to where I can start fly fishing because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Welcome back Clarence. I am doing pretty well, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Feels like a decent fish. Probably a bass. Yeah, it's a nice smallmouth. Probably another large one. Yeah, four pounds, one ounces. Something else on rod one. Black crappie. Not bad. Okay, so, I'm actually going to try something else. Let's, uh, take that apart so that we can move it. And, uh, actually, let's... 
take everything off. Let's get the uh, spinning rod set up going. I think that's good. Or not spinning rod, but the bait caster. And see if we can get a few salmon. I don't know if the salmon are going to be in this little spot, but if we can get a few, that'd be nice. Because they give a lot of XP. Alright, mean blocks. Yeah, Smash, they got fly fishing. And it looks pretty good from what I've seen. Ooh, that is definitely a bass with the way it just shot to the le shot to the left over there. Yeah, it's a white bass. Small one though. Only one pound. What a tiny male. <clears throat> right, let's keep reeling this in. What fish do I hope to catch? Well, with this spinning setup, I'm hoping to catch some of the uh, silver salmon because they give pretty good XP. So do the pink salmon. Uh, pretty much just any of the salmon species, really. And then with the uh, feeder rods, I'm after bass. I always call them crappie. But it really just depends on like where you come from. A lot of people call them crappy, a lot of people call them crappie. I've always just heard it as crappie around here. Alright, so I think we might lo move locations. Simply because this area doesn't have as many salmon. So I'm gonna go to an area where I can get bass and salmon. I've got another spot marked where I've been catching both of them very consistently. It is over at, well, both of these locations really, but we'll probably go to this one. Hold on. Why, why is it zooming in over there? There. That's where we're going. So like 900 meters that way. Uh, can we freeze a couple more? Yeah, let's freeze a couple more to free up some space. Let's get headed over there. Actually, first let's dump the fish off. Now that I think of it, it's probably going to be smarter to sell these fish. And then go over there. Yeah, we'll probably do one together again at some point, uh, Talon. If you haven't seen it before, I've actually got two videos with Flinter on the channel, uh, as well as a few live streams. Uh, I will be streaming again tomorrow at, um, actually, what is tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow's Monday, so I'll probably be streaming. Honestly, I don't know. I'm supposed to head out to uh, my mom's place tomorrow for a little while, so I don't know exactly what time I'll be streaming. But I will be streaming tomorrow at some point. Alright, let's sell the ones in here. 274 credits. Not bad. Now let's see how much the uh, keep net full is worth. Seven twenty nine. Not bad. Let's see what these little dudes give. Oh my gosh, they give like nothing. I mean, I don't know what I expected. Honestly, the crappie are not bad. Like for six, for like basically a six and a half ounce crappie, it's five credits. That's not bad. That's at least like passable. It gets us up to 2,500. Do we need to buy any more shiners? Eh, we could use a few, I guess. Yeah, we'll buy 70. 
keep the uh, stock up on them. I know it's not, Clax. It's 15 bucks. Honestly, in my opinion, it's one of the best fishing games out, though, so it's well worth it. It's actually not a new game. It's been out since 2019. But this is the first time that I've played it. Was like this last five days. I've been really enjoying it though. Thank you, Meme Blocks. I appreciate that, man. I'm glad you like it. Nice, Clarence. Holy. JJ Fishing Bait and Tackle, thank you so much for the super chat. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Really appreciate the support. Glad you were able to make it to one of the uh, fishing game streams. Alright, so this is the location right here. Next to this, uh... All of these, uh, reeds. Or is that just grass? I can't even tell. I think it's just grass. But this area right here has been really, really good. So pretty much what I do at this location is I... Just slow down a little bit as I get close. And then just make a turn right here. Go pretty much to the end. And then I just drop anchor right here. And I fish just past this uh, grass that's in the water here. This area has been a really good mix of bass and salmon. Uh, which is why I kind of like it, because salmon seem to give more XP than the bass do. We'll let it sink a little bit. No 270 plus? Really, Lunar? That's crazy. That's wild. Alright, Talon. Alright, now let's reel in. When I saw the level 10 whitetail yelled so loud I almost kicked got kicked off by my mom, woke up my brother. <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, to be fair, it is a pretty exciting thing. I about, well, I mean, you guys have all seen my reaction to my first great one. I got so excited when I saw that first one. All of them were super exciting, but that first one, man, that thing got me so excited. Uh, yes, you did miss some pretty cool stuff on Call of the Wild. We got two diamond turkeys, an albino bighorn sheep, and the smallest bull Rocky Mountain elk you could ever find. It was minimum weight and literally just had forks. Basically looked like a roe deer. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. We got something on the spinning rod or the uh, bait caster. Yeah, I think so, Sammy. I would really prefer they keep them at class one. Because uh, currently the variety of weapons that we can use on them is way more realistic than if they made them class two. So I really hope they just keep them where they are, but I don't think they will. Pink salmon. See though, like a three pound pink salmon, I get 1500 XP for. That is way better than the bass, which is kind of why we're fishing over here now. Um, I don't know, Smash. I don't think so. I know we get Sea Run Cutthroats and then uh, Steelhead or Sea Run Rainbow Trout, so we get both of those, but I don't know about Brown Trout. I've never gone for Brown Trout here in Oregon, so I don't exactly know. I've only gone for Cutthroats and then Steelhead and uh, Rainbow Trout. But the uh, Sea Run Cutthroats are fun. 
They are quite a lot of fun. Yeah, 22 Hornet could definitely use a buff. From what I've heard, I think they do plan on buffing it. Uh, someone was telling me that's what they said in one of the live streams, at least. Silver Salmon right there, four pounds. Yeah, I kind of figured, Blitz. I haven't actually been able to find one. D we just got... Oh my gosh, we instantly hooked one. That is a hefty fish, too. That was literally an instant hook the second that it hit the water. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the biggest one yet. This is probably going to be 10 pounds plus. That's a hefty fish. What animal do I want in Call of the Wild? Ah, uh, there's a few of them that I'd like. I'd like to see Dull Sheep, Sitka Blacktail Deer, Muskox, Pure David's Deer. Those are probably the primary ones I'd like to see. Nice, Slither. Oh yeah, that's a big pink salmon. 10 pounds and 2,000 XP. Beautiful. And that is not nearly as far as I wanted to cast. Alright, Blitz. Yeah, I'll check it out in a little bit. Oh, finally something on Rod 3. Just glad we got gators. Been wishing for them for a long time. Yeah, the gators are fun. I love the gators. <laughs> One pound, seven ounce bass. What a big male. What a big male. That might be the biggest male ever. What do I think the next map will be? Probably Africa 2. That'd be my guess. It's the most highly requested, so... I feel like they gotta do it. Uh, no, Connor. I don't know anything about a new map. They haven't revealed anything for a new map yet. It, it, we're still probably like four months off of a new map. So they probably won't reveal anything until it gets close to release. What do I want the next great one to be? Probably black tail deer or mule deer. Blacktail and Mule Deer would be my uh, top two choices. Uh, this game is Fisher Online. Oop, there we go. Hooked one right at the end there. Very small one. Yeah, a little silver salmon. Still 600 XP though, so not bad. You know, I kind of want to uh, rig these up for salmon as well. I kind of want to see, did I bring any bait for salmon? Not really. Maybe it's the hook size preventing me from using some of these? Nope. Huh. I might have to go back and uh, get some other baits.
Yeah, because none of these are really for salmon. Although, actually, yes, we do. Uh, natural maggots. Those are apparently good. So I guess we'll try that on Rod 2. Want to see a Canadian map? That would be cool. I think Yukon is basically like Alaska, Canada though. But uh, it would be cool to see more of a like a Saskatchewan style map, I think. That would be nice. Can you imagine getting like uh, some Canadian whitetail deer in the snow? That'd be so, so cool. Rod number two's rod tip is just kind of jiggling. All right, let's try casting back here. We have not cast in this direction yet. All right, later, Karen. Thank you for watching. Yeah, me too, Sammy. It would be nice to have them on another map. And honestly, I think they could do that with a Canada map. I think it would have to be like the bottom left corner though. Since Blacktail have a very limited range. Yeah, for sure, Clax. It could be a lot of fun. If they do like a Canadian map, Saskatchewan area is definitely my first choice. And I don't know how realistic this is, but I remember back in, um, ooh, that's a, oh, that's a big fish. That's a hefty fish. Ooh, pulling line out. Uh, anyway, as I was saying though, I remember back in Cabela's Outdoor Adventures 2005, they had a uh, fallow deer on the Saskatchewan location. Is that realistic? Is there fallow deer in Saskatchewan? Yeah, kind of, Hunter Fisher, since uh, Layton is based off of, like, the Washington, Oregon area. Yeah, Ganon, I do remember you. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a hefty, hefty fish. Definitely a good one. Oh, it just stuck its head out. I think that's a silver. It doesn't look as big as I expected it to be, but... That's not a bad one. Yeah, large silver salmon, 13 pounds, 2100 XP. This will honestly sell pretty decent. Uh, because it is a heavier fish, though, I am going to freeze it. That way we save the space in our keep net. Same with that one. Hey, Bastin Plays, how's it going? Also, this is literally, like, not doing anything. Might need to cast in a different area. I'm going to try, like, out here instead of in the brush. And just, uh, see if that does anything. The bite on, like, the bottom rods is pretty slow right now. The lures are doing great, though. We're getting lots of fish off the lures. No, I haven't, uh, Rooksby. To be honest, I have no interest in playing it because it's just a reskin of their last two games. Literally, like, all of the Dovetail games have just been a reskin of the one from the previous year. The only thing they do is just change the locations and the types of fish. But it's always the same mechanics, they never really change much. So until they make some more like improvements and like actually make advancements, I really don't have interest in playing their games.
It's like I've already got a fishing sim world or whatever. And I've got their carp fishing game that they had. I think they're I think that was their original game. Uh, both of them are so similar. And then the Bassmaster 2022 is basically the same thing. <laughs> hey, Billy, how's it going? Yes, indeed, we are on a fishing game. We actually played this a couple nights ago as well. Or was that last night? It might have actually been last night. No, no, it would have been the night before because yesterday I didn't stream. I've been having a lot of fun on this game. What do I recommend as a beginner gun in Call of the Wild? Uh, the second you have access to the ammo for it, do the 270. And then, uh, the second that you can, get the 7mm. The 7 mil is, uh... One of the best rifles that you can get early on. The second you have access to it, get the 7mm. It's a great rifle. And it covers a lot of uh, animal classes. Yeah, it's definitely not, Trevor. I don't know. Until uh, Dovetail actually improves their games, I don't really uh, feel like supporting them. <laughs> Because their last three games have basically just been the same game, but with different fish in different locations. I'd love to see them actually branch out and create something fresh that doesn't feel the same as the previous game. <coughs> Excuse me. What's my favorite fish? Uh, in real life or in this game? What time will I live stream? I'm not sure what time I'll be streaming tomorrow. I'm going to be heading out to my uh, mom's place for a little bit tomorrow, so I don't know what time I'll be streaming. I might end up streaming a little bit earlier or a little bit later than normal. Welcome back, Johnny. Yeah, Fishing Planet kind of did the same with me. I kind of just lost interest in it because I always felt like I was fishing for fish that I didn't really want to fish for just because they gave the best money at the location and it was the only way to make back the money I spent traveling. That was always my biggest gripe with Fishing Planet is that I couldn't fish for the fish I wanted to fish for because they didn't give much money. And if I wanted to make back what I spent on the location, then I had to go for the fish that would give good money. Like, if they uh, took away a lot of the travel costs, I would definitely play the game a lot more. Because then I could actually fish for what I want to fish for. I am 23, Amos. Looks like we're hitting a bit of a dead streak. No fish biting at all. All right, so it might be time to go back to bass fishing or maybe try location number three. We could try another location. I think it's probably just the time of day. This is kind of a time where it's a little bit slower, but we'll go try the other location out. Because that spot has been pretty decent for me. I'm uh, not sure, Tate. We'll probably start with Call of the Wild and then maybe do something else right after it. Three thirty-eight or three hundred? I uh, personally, I say three hundred because it's got more than one shot. If you're looking to grind any species, the three hundred is way better because of the fact that it's not single shot. 
Yeah, I know there is uh, EH, but from what I've heard, that version doesn't get updated much. From what I've heard, they don't really update it at all, and then they charge uh, extra money for DLCs whenever they add new locations. So I've kind of just steered clear of that version as well. Just because of the lack of updates and the fact that they make you pay for new locations. I've actually already done a face reveal, uh, Amos. All right, let's see what we can get here. Uh, yes, I have played Battlefield. I played a few of them. I played Battlefield 1 and then Battlefield Bad Company 2. And, uh... I played the beta for Battlefield 5. Yeah, exactly, Smash. That's why I've steered clear of it. It's so far behind in updates. And then when, it, when they brought out Blue Crab to uh, that, that version of Fishing Planet, they charged it as a DLC. And yeah, I'm, I'm not looking for that. Uh, no, I don't duck hunt. I've never really been much for, uh, bird, f bird, uh, hunting. Oh, there we go. I just had to change the retrieval up a little bit and we got a fish. We already played Call of the Wild today, John. If you go check the last stream we did, that'll be the Call of the Wild. Ooh, that is decent. It was pulling line out for a second. So it's got to be at least a 10 pound fish. Ah, oh, yes. Is that another chunky pink salmon? It is. 11 pounds. 2k XP. Not bad. Uh, what's our XP looking like now? 66k of 95k. Ugh, like 15 more salmon like that and we will be there. Oh my gosh, another fish on. Well, I think we found what to do. Ooh, oh my gosh. Hello there. Ooh, hello there. <laughs> That's a good fish. This one's probably going to be at least 20 pounds, maybe 30. This thing is fighting hard. Ooh, I just saw a jump too. That's a good fish. It looks like a pink salmon. It looks like a big pink salmon. Imagine if this is a trophy. Hold on, let me do the super zoomed in mode. See if we can spot it. Oh, it's rushing towards us. Yeah, this thing's running right towards us. That's actually pretty lucky. Oh, is that a silver? Oh my gosh, this might be a big silver salmon. Oh, it's an Atlantic salmon. 18 pound Atlantic? Not bad. Another 2k XP. Not bad. That is our biggest fish of the day, I believe. It looks like this is the method to go with the step-by-step uh, -step guiding. Seems like these fish like it. Oh, we got one. Yeah, that's definitely what we need to be doing. That's three casts, three fish. And we were on quite a dead streak. 
Now we got three back to back. This one's definitely small though. Definitely a little guy. Is that a bass? It's a yellow perch! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, at least that will go towards both of our quests. We actually will complete a quest with that for 200 credits. Nice. <laughs> oh, well, that oddly worked out. <laughs> That's awesome. I know, right? What a giant. Nice, Grubhub. That's awesome, dude. Hopefully you had a good trip, man. Can I do an IRL hunting video? Maybe one of these days. Uh, the problem with IRL hunting on YouTube is a lot of times those videos get taken down by a YouTube, so I'd have to be smart about the way that I do it. Alright, later Hayden. Thank you for dropping in. There we go. Another decent one. Yeah, this one's pulling line out. Oh my gosh, this thing's pulling a ton of line out. Oh my gosh, this thing is going crazy. Hopefully it won't spool me. Uh, cause with this boat, I can't actually start it while I have the rod in my hand. So I can't really follow this thing. Oh my gosh, it's already took out half the line. Yeah, we can crank the drag up a little bit and be fine. I think 19 is about the best we'll want to go, or the highest we'll want to go. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid we're going to get spooled here. That's right, come back. I'm back, little dude, or big dude, I guess. My gosh, this thing's going crazy. <laughs> this is a huge fish. Hey, Swanee, how's it going? Yeah, I know. Um, the thing is, like, some people have had their videos taken down just for showing the animal. So, it, that's why I'm saying it's very sketch. And I just don't know if I want to take the risk. But IRL fishing, I can for sure do. I don't know about IRL hunting, though. It's kind of hit or miss. With, like, what YouTube will allow. Hey, Frank, how's it going, man? Glad to see you. Slowly getting some line back. This thing's huge. Whatever it is, it's huge. 
I would not be surprised if this thing's 30 plus pounds. The last time I had one fight like this, it was like a 31 pound uh, Atlantic Salmon, I believe. This very well could be another 30 plus pounder. Because this setup right here is like a 70 pound rod, 68 pound reel, 66 pound line. And we are having trouble with this thing. Uh, to be honest, I've never uh, gone out for archery hunting. I've only gone out with rifle. Uh, the thing about Oregon is like archery hunting is not really uh, the same as it is in other places. We don't really use stands here. Almost anybody that bow hunts in Oregon, they spot and stalk with it. And so that, that's not really for me. Spot and stock bow hunting is not easy. Have you tried the game Fish Sim Pro World Tour? Yeah, I've tried it. I've got the game, but I like I was saying earlier, I just feel like all of Dovetail's games feel the same. Welcome back, Blitz. We've got a giant on. It almost spooled me. This thing's easily got to be like a 30 pound salmon. Because the last time I had one fight like this was a 31 pound Atlantic. Nice, Frank. Now, one of these days, I might. Uh, to be honest, it's a pretty far uh, distance away from me, though, and I don't like uh, flying, so... Hard to say. How do you get all your respawns in the Hunter? You just shoot animals. That's all there is to it. You shoot one, it'll respawn. However, they don't always respawn at the exact place you shot them. Sometimes they will move around. So if you're shooting stuff and it's not coming back to the same place you shot it at, then I would probably recommend checking other parts of your map that you don't normally hunt. Because they might have moved. <coughs> Oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh, that thing's huge. Oh, oh my gosh. That thing's going to be some good XP. This is what we're looking for. Oh my gosh, it's huge. That That's an Atlantic. That's got to be. Oh my gosh. 44 pound Atlantic salmon. Oh my gosh, that's huge. I knew this thing felt giant. That is a monster fish. 44 pounds. That's my biggest fish ever. That's easily the biggest fish I've caught. I think that literally beat my personal best by like 13 pounds. <laughs> My previous best fish overall was a 31 pound Atlantic salmon. And now we just top that with a 44. Holy, that thing better be worth a lot of money because that thing's heavy. I'm going to freeze that immediately because it's taking up so much space in my keep net. Same with those two. Oh, and Blitz, how are you able to follow the fish? Because I'm pretty sure this boat doesn't allow you to hold the rod and move at the same time. At least from what I can tell. Uh, you must have been using a different boat, right? I've been using this one because of the triple rod holders. But I'm assuming you must have been using a different one when you were able to uh, follow the fish. What do I fish for IRL? Uh, Chinook Salmon... Cutthroat trout, rainbow trout, uh, rockfish, greenling. That's mainly the stuff that I've fished for. Ooh, 
Nothing that time. The Chiefs are choking. Oh no. You can do it on all boats. Gotcha, Blitz. Interesting. That just, just sounds too risky, like, when it comes to, like, losing the fish. I feel like the line would just go limp. Interesting, gotcha. Okay. I don't know if I'll try that or not. But we'll see. There we go. There's a fish. Thank you, Ethan. What's my favorite map on Hunter? Uh, Mississippi Acres. This one's much smaller than the last one. It's taken a little bit of line, but not much. Yeah, back to just like an average size pink salmon. Or no, that's a pike. That's a northern pike. Never mind. Uh, we're gonna let you go because you're kind of worthless in uh, money wise at least. Uh, you missed a giant 44 pound Atlantic salmon, uh, Hayden. We got an absolute giant. Hundred percent harvest value in classic. Yeah, pretty much. Just drop it with like a. I think you have to use a caliber that's not too big as well. I could be wrong about that, uh, but yeah, the best way, just make sure you drop it. My favorite 48 rifle in Call of the Wild, uh, 6.5. As far as like, uh, most efficient or like the best 48, I like the 308 for its power. Or, uh, 303, I mean. I want a 308 so bad that I keep thinking it's already in the game. Uh, yes, Scott, I do. I hunt and fish in real life. I don't hunt that much anymore, but... I used to. Looks like the bite is slowing down once again. Also, what is going on with uh, these rods? They aren't getting anything. Uh, actually, let's go back to this, but um, let's cast out into the deep water. See if we can get some salmon out there. And then for our bass rod, let's just, uh, to be honest, I don't know. We were catch I was catching bass here earlier today. I guess we'll just try it over there. It's weird that I'm not getting bites now, but I was earlier. <clears throat> What's my favorite diamond? Uh, definitely the red deer. Nice, Clax. Yeah, one of the most efficient ways with water buffalo is to get them to charge you and then shoot them in the head with the bow. They've got pretty big brains, so it's relatively easy to do. 
But that's like the best way to guarantee 100% harvest value. Nice, Mel. Also, welcome back. 308? I know, right? I wish it was 308. Oh, there we go. Got a little fish last second here. Uh, not a big one, but got something on. Ah, just a little pink salmon. Just, oh my gosh, two pounds. But even a two pounder gives a lot of XP. Let's cast out and then check our XP. 74k of 95k. We're getting there. Oh, which rod? Rod three. There we go. All we need to do is recast and now we got a fish on. What do I like to fish for in real life? I really enjoy fishing for uh, cutthroat trout. And then also uh, Chinook Salmon, they're a lot of fun. But I think the most fun I've ever had is uh, fishing for Rockfish and Greenling off of the jetties. Nice, Mel, that's good. Yeah, sometimes it can be a benefit. What if it's a diamond water buffalo? Well, it's in the Hunter Classic, so there is no diamonds in Classic. We're talking about the Hunter Classic for uh, brain shotting the water buffalo. Because in Classic, there is no, like, a uh, trophy organ system where you, like, lose uh, points for hitting it in the head. In Classic, you can shoot it wherever. I agree, David. I agree. I despise the Bills. But I despise the Jets even more. Well, this is definitely not your average bass. What do we got here? Is this a catfish? This might be a catfish. I don't know if catfish are clear over here, but we're about to find out. It's fighting kind of sluggishly like a catfish, so... But at the same time, it's not going straight towards me. It's kind of like going in circles. Uh, the top left corner, that's a tournament. A tournament that I am not entered in because it's a, uh... Oh my gosh, that is a catfish. That's a nice catfish. 16 pound channel cat, wow. I think that's my biggest channel cat ever. We're setting all kinds of records tonight. I'll actually screenshot that. And let's go ahead and freeze it since it's pretty heavy. I still can't believe we got a 44 pound salmon. That's wild. I wonder how much that thing is going to give. Big male indeed. Chiefs choked, they did. Oh no. Boy. Bills are up by three with 13 seconds. Oof. Jeez.
Which is my favorite Call of the Wild or Classic? Uh, definitely Call of the Wild. I feel like with Call of the Wild, I've got more things that I can do in the game for, like, uh, video-wise. Because of, like, the way the game's designed, it's a lot easier to make content on. And therefore ends up being more fun for me as well. Oh gosh, I gotta sneeze. And I can't mute Mike because I'm reeling in a fish. Maybe we're good. Maybe maybe it stopped. A, a bass? I just caught a bass on a, a salmon spoon. I mean, I'll take it. They're good money. <laughs> That's just not what I expected. Hey, Yon, how's it going? Oh my gosh, instantly on. Holy. Instantly on with a big male. Well, that was fast. Instantly, we got ourselves a big fish. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a good fish. Uh, my favorite NFL team is the Patriots. I haven't watched football in like eight years though. Uh, maybe Hecticult. I'd love to see them do it. I think they would have a lot of really good uses. Especially for Great One Grinding because you could place trail cams at all of the zones you don't hunt. That way you could see if like any of your deer randomly go to them. It would be such a good way to keep tabs on your zones without having to actually go there. Ooh, that looked like a good fish. I saw it jump for a second. Let's do the super zoomed in cam. See if we can get a view of it. I just want to get a quick view of it. This one's probably not quite as big as that other one. I don't think this will be 40 pounds. Maybe 25 or 30 though. Because it is fighting pretty hard. just hit surface but it didn't quite really like show us much couldn't really tell what it was just from that I think it's a big pink salmon though based on the coloration and what I could see yeah I think it's a pink salmon Oh, maybe it's a Chinook. Hold on. Might actually be a Chinook. And now it's another Atlantic. I guess because the lighting is a little bit different, it looked uh, weird. Another big Atlantic, though. Freeze that. And now let's go check the rod over here. Which one was it? Rod 3. Okay. There we go. Uh, this game is called The Fisher Online. Got a nice little bass. Two pound smolly. So I think it's pretty clear at this point that the, uh, the maggots are not working. 
We'll probably be better off just going back to Shiners. There we go. The Fisher Call of the Waters. Imagine. Oh, hello there, instant fish. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I've played Fishing Planet. <laughs> They're in overtime now? Holy. That's wild. That sounds like it's a pretty insane game. Alright, I'm calling it right now without even, like, watching. There's gonna be a fumble on the kickoff. That's my call. I'm saying they're gonna fumble on the kickoff. Tiny silver salmon. Tiny male. Ah, oh, we're so close. Just 13k off of it. Well, 14k almost. Just like five more f good fish and we will be leveled up to level 20 and have access to the first salt lo saltwater location. There's another fish. Seems like another small one though. Chief's got the ball. Another tiny silver salmon, it looks like. Yeah, another really small silver. We got a lag spike, but no fish. Usually when I get a little lag spike, that means a fish is biting, but not that time. Oh, unless it meant that one. It might have been this rod. There. I think that's probably a bass with the way it's fighting. Oh wow, we got a salmon on it. Not bad. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think salmon would bite on a shiner. Hey, KC, how's it going? This is Fisher Online. Probably the best fishing game out there. It feels a lot more enjoyable than Fishing Planet or Russian Fishing 4. Oh yeah, Casey, uh, Rona just wrecked my voice. Even like, uh, like what, almost a week after getting over it, I still have like an occasional cough. Um, still have lots of like uh, post-nasal drip, uh, very light, scratchy throat. And my voice is still a little rough because of that. It's, uh, it's wild. That stuff's no joke. 
It hits you hard. I've heard some people say it permanently changed their voice. And then for some people, it literally, like, kills off their taste buds. Uh, one of my mods, you guys have probably seen him in here occasionally. It's been a couple months since he's been in here, but, uh, he's a longtime friend of mine. Uh, I think on YouTube he just goes by John. Oh, oh my gosh. What, what just happened there? That was weird. It just, like, shot right at me. Uh, but anyway. Actually, I think on YouTube he's try for killer I think that's what his YouTube is. But, um, when he got it... Now, even to this day, like six months after he got it, he his taste buds are still messed up. He can't... He said that there's like so many foods that he used to love that he just can't eat anymore because they don't taste good anymore. It's crazy like some of the weird things that happen afterwards, after you get it. Holy, is that a David? Is that a, is that a David? Quoth the Raven, nevermore. Thank you for the super chat, David. Ligma fish. No, I don't wanna. How you doing, man? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, it definitely did, KC. It's rough. Um, I lost my uh, sense. I lost my sense of taste a little bit. For about a week, I couldn't really taste much. It's basically back to normal now. But for a little while, it was rough. Is, is that a hollow crow too? Everybody's dropping in here. How's it going? Oh, there we go. There's a fish. There we go. Holy. Another one. Nice, David. That's awesome. What type of fish is that? I'm going to guess another pink salmon. Oh, no, it's a smallie. Hmm, not bad. How close are we now? We got to be getting close, man. 10k off. 10k XP off of level 20. We're so close. Oh, gotcha, Hollow. Sounds about right. Let's be honest, though. It's not that difficult. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I promise. Chiefs are going to win. I hope so. I hate the Bills. Yes, yeah, same Slither. And you know what's crazy is like for the longest time, like not many people I knew had it. And then like this last month, so many people that I know have got it. The like recent variant has like gone on a rampage. Swear everybody I know is getting it. Luckily, most of them are getting very mild cases, but the one we got sure wasn't mild. Nice, real wood. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations on your great one. Lost her smell, but I think she got it back. Me and my brother never got it. Jeez, muskrat. Yeah, it's one of the weird things about it. Like, it hits everybody differently. Like, vastly different between uh, person to person. Well, the smallies sure are striking now. Honestly, I think the worst after effect for me is just like the shortness of breath. I, I can't really do, like, much physical work at all a until I get winded. It's pretty bad. Like, never before have I ever got winded so quickly. Like, the other day, I was bringing groceries in from shopping and literally, like, just bringing a couple bags of groceries into the house from, like, maybe, like, a hundred yards... Actually, not even a hundred yards. Like, fifty-yard walk. And I was winded just from bringing two bags of groceries in. It's bad. Like, I, I don't know what it is about it, but, like, it really just hits your lungs. Makes it really hard to catch your breath. 
Chiefs won? Good. Good. Get those bills out of here. Ah, uh, maybe, Randy. I'm banking on Africa 2 for the next map, but I would sure love to see a Texas Game Ranch instead. There's a lot more cool stuff they could do with that, but I doubt they ever will. But it sure would make for a really awesome map. Because they'd have, like, pretty much free creative reign over hundreds of species that they could choose. But yeah, most likely it'll be Africa 2 next. That's a very popular request, so I couldn't see it not being it. Oh yeah, David. Yes, it is indeed YouTube. YouTube is uh, always being YouTube. Alright, based off how slow the bite is now, I think we might be better off going back to bass fishing. Though the salmon give more XP, it'll probably be faster going for the bass. Oh, we got a fish on line three. I guess we'll reel this in first. Yeah, Clax. All the one year badges. We've actually got a lot of people that are very close to one year. Pretty soon, we're going to see a lot of one-year badges popping up. Unfortunately, during the time that uh, I was sick, we lost like 12 members. So that's a little unfortunate. What just happened to the boat? Uh, you guys saw that, right? What just happened? Did we like hit something? I think we did. Yeah, that's crazy, Johnny. Never would I have expected them to be having a chance at it. I have no idea, Mel. That's a very strange autocorrect. Yeah, Hollow, you're lucky. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't have even caught it, but, um, Bree's brother is not as careful as, uh, we are. So he ended up getting it and then giving it to us. Nine months, 22 days? Holy. Getting up there. David back with the super chat again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll read I'll read what I can out of that YouTube ligma ugly looking dodo baggins can't keep me down you your boat killed a fish thank you David <laughs> thank you for the super chat <laughs> and the uh, the laugh oh man uh, this is Fisher online Joshua a swamp monster bumped into the boat. That's definitely what it seems like. It certainly felt like something massive just slammed the boat. All right, let's drop off everything we've caught. I'm interested to see what that 44 pound salmon is going to sell for. I think better sell good because it took forever to reel in. And, well, we're not going to get to see exactly how much that one's worth, but in total, all of our silver salmon are worth 279. So that's got to be like what? How much money per pound would that be? Like what, four currency per pound roughly? So that big one had to have been like 150 or 160. Hold on, let me actually see if it'll show. Oh, it does show them individually. Oh, this is my keep net. Never mind. This is the keep net. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll just sell all 595. Jeez. That is some good money there. Now let's go uh, sell the ones in the keep net. Two seventy-two. All right, we're up to thirty-two hundred currency now. Let's get back to the bass fishing to get this last XP. I have emotional damage now. <laughs> Those are the most inspiring words I've ever heard. I know, right? Truly inspiring. <sighs> yes, they may be, uh, David, but I'd rather them than the Bills, because I hate the Bills. As long as the Bills and the Jets are doing bad, I'm happy. Even though I don't watch football anymore. <laughs> I got a great one bass. I did. I got a great one bass. Great one large mouth. Its mouth was very large. Um... I think somebody just bought all of the uh, stuff I had for auction. Oh yeah, somebody bought all of the algae that I put up for auction. Hold on, did I not? That was weird. <laughs> that was really strange. Ah, uh, Swanee, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that. I did not mean to cast like that. Hold on. There we go. Better. Thank you for the super chat. You need to watch the... The poop on mustard ad. Uh, I will have to check it out. I have no clue what that is, but... I guess we'll see. Uh, let's take this apart. Drop that off. And let's go to the triple float rod setup. <clears throat> All right, perfect. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. <clears throat> Ah, uh, no, Luke, I didn't see it. I've been getting a play-by-play -play from chat, though. <laughs> yeah, David, I am a Patriots fan. Patriots all the way. Even though they're not doing great anymore. <clears throat> Alright, later, Tate. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Matt. I'm glad that you enjoy the content. That's awesome to hear. It's definitely not, John. That I can tell you. If it doesn't come uh, straight from EW, it's not real. What do we got here? Ah, uh, looks like a bass. Is that a white bass? I think it is. No, it's a smallie. That's a good smallie, actually. That's a good one. Oh no, it's a black bass. Sometimes they look so similar in the water. That's a good one. It feels like, a oh, it's an eel. That's why it feels hefty. Of course I'd hook the eel on my lightest rod. Cannot wait to replace this rod with a better one.
I uh, know we haven't yet, John. We're still trying to level up to level 20. Nice. Yes, yes, that's awesome. Get that thing down. All right, later, Clarence. Oh, we got another fish on. Got another one on. Oh, we got to take care of this eel first. To be honest, I don't even remember what the XP for eels are like. I have no idea what type of XP they give because I haven't really paid attention. Nice, Clax. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just one other fish on. Come on, little eel. Well, I mean, you're not little, but come here. There we go, 10 pounds. Yeah, they don't give good XP at all, like 600. The bass are probably going to be much better. They definitely don't give nearly as much as uh, the salmon do, but you catch a lot more of them. And the salmon bite has kind of slowed down, so this will probably be a better option for getting it. I have not had eel before, no. I have heard that a lot of people like it, though. That's a good white bass right there. Chunky one. Four pounds, 12 ounces. Not bad. You know what's the funny thing about the whole, like, uh, Africa 2 rumor uh, that's going around, John? That whole image with uh, the elephant or whatever, that was made two years ago. By somebody on Reddit. And then, like, recently it resurfaced and there's some gullible people out there that believed it. But I can assure you that if there was an Africa 2 map coming out, I would know and I have not heard anything about that. Because let's be honest, it's still like four months until we get a new map. We don't ever get new maps this close together. It's not going to be till like June until we get another one. And they don't usually reveal anything about it. And there wouldn't even be anything in the game files for people to find because it's so far off. They probably haven't even like got a tenth of the way through developing the next map. Chunky eel. Much easier to reel in with the heavy rod. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. And they just got off of uh, Christmas break as well. For those of you that didn't know, EW wasn't back at office until like a couple weeks ago. They were uh, taking their like holiday break, which is like two weeks long. So they wouldn't have even been developing anything. That's a good bass. Or is that a cat? Ah, uh, it's a catfish, you. Why? What are you doing here? Yeah, pretty much, Mel. I, I don't get it. I don't get how pe some people believe it. <laughs> it was quite clearly fake. Everything from, like, the design of it to, like, the fact that they've stated millions of times that they will not do elephants. It just it screams fake, but you know what? Some people just believe anything.
What's the biggest bass I've caught in real life? I think like maybe three pounds. Uh, to be honest, Oregon bass are kind of small. Like in most in most areas of Oregon, getting a five pound bass is like insane. Yeah, pretty much, Mel. It was a cool little like mock up or whatever, but it definitely didn't uh, look real. Which is why it kind of blows my mind that people thought it was real or that some people believed it. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. At this point, I really couldn't see them doing any other map, but like I said earlier today, they probably will do a different map. They always throw us for a loop and do something that nobody expected. And they get most of their, like, uh, informations on decisions they make through the surveys. So, whatever people ask for the most in surveys is what content gets added throughout the year. So, depending on what people wanted to see based off the surveys is probably what we will get this year. Which is why I think we'll get a lot of like weapon pack related stuff or like weapon skins because that's been a very popular request among most people recently. Alright, I'm not going to try and net it. <laughs> I was trying to save some time there, but we'll just pull it in. Yeah, probably, Johnny. It's got to be one of those. Oh, we're so close. 4K off. 4K off and we'll be able to go to a saltwater location for the first time. They'll hype him so much and it'll be like Hirsch 2.0. <laughs> oh, no. I hope not. Space goats. <laughs> so basically you're saying you want the flying mouflon back. If that's the case, I am fine with that. Bring back the flying mouflon. I want them. <laughs> Give me some flying mouflon. I don't know, Johnny. It's hard to say, really. They do have two maps to bring out this year, so I guess it is possible they do Africa 2 and then Australia, or vice versa. I'm calling it right now, though. One of the two maps is going to be an NA map. Because that's just kind of how they've done it in the past. Another channel cat. That's unfortunate. Bring me my murder mouflon. Yes, please. Give us those chonky mouflon back. I I want to once again get smacked by a mouflon as I'm claiming a red deer. Let's recast. I think I'd actually cast that one out too far in the first place, so... Probably good that we reeled it back in. Uh, let's be honest though, Lunar. There's a lot of places in North America. It doesn't have to be similar to what we have currently. They could do um, something in Canada, which would be a pretty popular thing, I think. Since Yukon is one of the most popular maps, I'm sure a lot of people would love to see a Canada map. And then they could also do like, um, different parts of the U.S. that would have different species than what we currently have. There's still a lot they could do with North America. They could even maybe do like a second Mexico map and include some of the species that they missed in the first one, like the Owdad and the Coos Deer. Like, there's a lot of stuff they could do. Yes, doll sheep and muskox would be beautiful. 
I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, there's a lot of species that they still don't have that are in North America that are popular ones. Yeah, Texas map, that's a very popular request. That's what I'd love to see as a Texas game ranch. And I do see a lot of requests for Texas. Because a lot of people want to uh, be able to go hog hunting. Oh, hello there. <laughs> well, I, I take it we got a small mouth on that rod. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. What do we even have on here? Whatever it is, it's decent size. If this is a bass, this is a big one. Because it's putting up a pretty good fight. Oh, it's an eel. Of course. What else would it be? Why do I always get the eels on the weak rod? Just takes so much longer to reel them in on this rod. Ah, uh, Buffalo Bill. <laughs> nice, David. Thank you for the super chat again. Would you cast me? I would cast me. I would cast me hard. <laughs> like, like, cast you like a mold? Or cast you like a fishing rod? Like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to make like a brass replica of you and cast that? Or do you want me to make you in- Oh, I get it. You want me to make you into like a lead fishing weight. And then cast you out. I think yes, that is a great idea. We need David shaped fishing weights. And then I can say that I tossed you out into the ocean. Five pound eel. Ew. It's not even a good eel. Just a tiny male. Oh my gosh, literally like two fish off. Oh, we might be landing. Uh, to be honest, it's pretty easy to get into the same lobby on this on this uh, game, I've noticed. David with another super chat. I'll give you my fishing rod. Andrew, I'll give it to you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy. Thank you, David. Jeez, the fish are just coming in crazy. Oh, you did, Hollow? That's perfect. <laughs> oh, man. All right, later, Muskrat. He can't handle the heat. Oh yeah, definitely, Johnny. I think they would. They'd probably make them expensive, hold only five rounds, and most likely they would only do it in 223. Oh, that's a muskie, I think? Or is that a pike? Oh, that's a pike. That's a good pike, too, actually. I think it's a pike. No, it's a muskie. That is enough XP, though. We just did it. Level 20. Okay, let's get to that next location. Uh, let's reel this up, though, and then we'll catch that fish. Ah, oh, we finally did it, guys. Level 20. Hey, Angry Bear, the best thing that you missed was a 44-pound Atlantic salmon. That took us, like, five or six minutes to get in. And we just hit level 20, so we're finally able to go to the first saltwater location. Uh, we gotta drive back and dump off the fish that are in the boat, though. Later, muskrat. In 308, 1 million? You know, that honestly wouldn't be terrible. But I don't think they would do that. They'd get a lot of complaints. 
maybe like 150k for the 223 and then 200k for the 308. A 22 long rifle AR? Now that would be pretty fun. That would actually be pretty fun. Can you just imagine like a uh, 20 round magazine 22 AR? That would actually be pretty fun. Because let's be honest, EW wouldn't do a 30, so they'd probably do max of a 20. Most likely just a 10, though. 131 for those. Kind of expected them to not be worth much. Uh, you can through Apex Connect, uh, Angry Bear. 262. Alright, so we're 3600. Uh, we might be able to buy a brand new rod and reel here, too, because uh, new locations means new tackle to buy. Finally going to the Netherlands Channel. Now, this is right on the coast, so I think it's got to be a saltwater location. I don't actually know for sure, but based off of where it's positioned on the map, I think it's got to be. Uh, maybe? Maybe it's not. Let's see what fish species are here. Oh! Maybe? Maybe? I mean, there's mullet. There's shad. Mullet, flounder. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely some saltwater species. So this is probably like a transitioning point. We got whitefish. Whatever a zope is. Stellate sturgeon. Okay, so there's sturgeon here. That's cool. That's pretty cool. So there's not as many saltwater species as I was hoping, but there is a few. So it actually will be kind of cool to kind of see what we got going. What are people catching the sturgeon with? Mollusk pieces, okay. Uh, what do we have available at the stores here? Uh, we got sea worms, so this is, yeah, it's definitely based off a of saltwater location then. Or at least partially. Like I was saying, it seems like a, like a transitioning point. Seems like a river that's close to the sea. And yeah, we got a squid lure here. Okay, there's not actually that many options for feeder rods here, so I won't be able to get a better feeder here. Ah, uh, David, thank you for another super chat. Would you catch my eel? Please, it takes two hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I can finish reading that out, but thank you, David. Uh, thank you for that. Holy. The Basser Arcast 2. So there's actually some decent uh, spinning rods that we can get here. But I've already got a pretty good one, so I don't think we really need to purchase any of these. What do we have for line? Okay, there is a new line. Sea string. Basser sea string. Yeah, that'll be good line, I think. Clear up to 127 pounds. Yeah, there's definitely much better line here. Much, much better line. Uh, is there better for the existing ones? Uh, not really. Uh, we have two new sea hooks. So these are like very large hooks. We might buy some of those at some point. Okay, those are all the same. You almost inhaled your sweet tart. Oh gosh, that would not have been good. That would have been very, very bad. I swear, like, any of those, like, sour candies, like the powdery ones, like Smarties or Sweet Tarts or, like, 
um, pixie sticks. If that hits the back of your throat wrong, you will start choking like crazy. Oh, what do we have available? Ooh, we do have more fly fishing stuff available. Okay, so I could start getting some fly fishing gear. That would be nice. And we have access to some flies now, too. Oh, I think I kind of got to do it, guys. Like, I got to get a fly fishing set up. Can we afford that? 720 plus 12. Yeah, that'd be like 1900. We can afford it to get the, uh, the heavier duty one. What about that? I guess these are just different colors. Yeah, we can definitely afford this. Uh, what about the leader? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's get a fly fishing setup. Uh, let's go for the bright green. And then let's get a few flies. Let's get one of each. And we'll test them all. See how they are. I have no idea how the fly fishing mechanics are going to work, so... Uh, we're just going to have to wing it. Uh, let's start out with probably one of these streamers. We'll do that one because uh, a lot of saltwater fish like bright stuff. Yeah, it's fun, David. I've only been fly fishing like a couple times. I wasn't uh, very good at it, but it was fun from the little bit that I did. I still have my fly rod, but I need to get new line. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's not, uh, not like, yeah, it's not quite like real fly fishing, but I guess we'll have to do it a little bit to kind of see how it works. Is this the first part of saltwater? Yeah, kind of. We went ahead and bought a fly fishing setup as well. Oh yeah, for sure, David, for sure. I'm uh, not really interested in it gaining platypus. To be honest, Dovetail just recycles the same thing over and over again for their games, and I've already played, like, their two previous games, so I don't really feel the need to buy their newest one. <laughs> it's just the same as the other two, just reskinned. Okay, so... Maybe we'll try one that, um... As a different retrieval method. Actually, let's try the grasshopper. Gotta watch it. I might have to look up a guide on uh, how to do the fly fishing in this game. Because something tells me there's probably like a special way to do it that I'm not doing.
I mean, there is some fish hitting top water. Probably going to be a matter of just picking the right fly. I mean, maybe that'll do something. Do any of these give any information about what they are best for? Wooly bugger intended for postings in the middle water. Okay. Doesn't really give any information on like what fish they'll be good for though. What kind of fly am I using? I'm kind of just switching between a bunch of different ones. The one I just put on is a woolly bugger though. I've actually used the woolly buggers in uh, real life. And from what I remember with uh, streamer flies, you kind of just uh, reel those in. But, like, at the same time, I don't really know what's going to be the best way to do it in this game. Because, like, there's no way to change retrieval speed for, uh, fly fishing rods. Yeah, we might have to try this at a different time. Uh, first of all, where should we go? I guess we'll just head back to that spot. Nice, Andrew. Let's put that down. Uh, we'll cast both of these out so we at least have something out there to catch uh, other fish. And let's uh, change bait on number two. Try something else and see what we can get. We'll do fish pieces. Just uh, see what we can catch on that. Yeah, I know, Blitz. I know about the whole retrieval thing. I'm just curious, like, if the fish here will actually uh, go for it. Uh, the species are all these right here. Xander, Eyed, Bream, Mullet, Sing Singil, uh, Belarus, Sapa, 
Silver Bream, Thick Lip Mullet, Rippus, uh, Alice Shad, Fint, Crusian Carp, Flathead Mullet, Ruff, Ramada Mullet, Vimba, Passera Flounder, Roach, Perch, Zope, Northern Pike, Dutch Perch, Whitefish, Grass Pike, uh, Shrimp Eel, and Stellet Sturgeon. There's a good variety of species. I just don't know like what flies to use for any of these. Or like where I should be fishing with the fly rod. I know there's not really any information about the fish. Oh, oh my gosh. What, what the? What the? Well, that's new. A, a legit sailboat going through here. Yeah, Mark. It's a good game, man. I like it. It's fun. Hopefully you'll enjoy it just as much. Crow caught a boat? I did. I caught a boat. We got all the boats. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Also, is there a way to get boats at this location? I don't think this location has boat access. Yeah, I don't think we have access to boats here. Yeah, I got a great one bass, uh, like 75 of them. What quests do we have available here? Okay, actually, let's just, uh, let's go to here and see what people have been using to catch them. Because you can see, like, some of the best ones. So it looks like lures mainly, shrimp tail, lots of lures it looks like mainly. Mollusk pieces is another one that a lot of people are getting stuff on. Uh, Nerys, whatever that is. Blood worms and worms, mayfly larva, mayfly. Yeah, it looks like most of the people are using lures or bait and not flies. Yep, I've seen enough. We need to buy some more different types of bait. And then use that. We need to get some of the sea worms. Some of these. It looked like mayflies were working pretty good for some some people. We'll try that. Yeah, probably, Blitz. David, thank you for another super chat. Holy super chats left and right. If I was getting mauled by a lion, what gun would you use to save me? <laughs> That's a trick question. I will be mauling the lion alive. Also, Ligma. Holy. I would, uh, I'd use the David Fist gun. 
That is probably the most effective against the lion, if we're being honest. Uh, what hook size are people going to use here, I wonder? We can try this, so let's do a size 1 hook. Maybe that's our problem. We need smaller hooks. Or we'll try a bigger hook as well. Oh, actually, we don't really have much that can even go on that. Oh my gosh, David. Do it. You gotta do it. Nice, Mighty Chicken Wing. It's a good game, man. A lot of fun. I like it. Uh, let's see what other different lures we could get here. Okay, so there's actually a very large variety of lures, which is nice. Oh, these look like they'd probably work pretty good, but you need tournament tokens to get those, and I have no tournament tokens. That's looking good. Oh, it says it's for Xander. Hmm, might as well see if we can get some Xander. Got some topwater lures here. Might as well snag one of those. Xander Catfish Pike. Okay. Good variety. Uh, I kind of want to save the rest of my money, though. Uh, we'll grab one of those, though, because they're cheap. Let's go for this one first, because it says that it's for Xander, and uh, Xander are one of the species here. Oh, we got fish on. Oh my gosh. Got fish on number two. Our first fish at this location. And it is a... Oh, it's a flounder. Wow. Nice. We got a flounder. Pretty small one, but... That's cool. We got ourselves a flounder to start out. So these go above six pounds, it says. Yeah, the current uh, location record is seven pounds, 12 ounces. Oh gosh, that was great, David. That was great, I remember that. That's in my first uh, Call of the Wild video ever on the channel. I still have that video on the channel. That was golden. Wow, that barely goes anywhere because it's too light for this setup. We might need to get a heavier one. Or maybe a slightly lighter spinning setup. No, they're all the same size. So yeah, we might just need a lighter spinning rod. Honestly, it's not too expensive.
And I think I do have a reel to toss on here, so... Yeah, we might just have to do that. I know, right? Super big male. The biggest male of them all. Uh, let's pull the reel off of this one. Or actually... Yeah, we'll take... Ah, uh, no. We'll just... I guess we'll just use the reel that's available. Uh, we need better... Or, uh, line for it, I guess? Do I have line on a different rod? Yes, I do. Okay, so we'll pull that off there. There we go. Alright, let's try that. Let's try that out. That's kind of a cool looking rod. Much better casting for this size of lure. Nice blitz. Best advice for just starting out in the game, once you hit level 5, go to the level 5 location and start fishing for carp with uh, bread and the best float rod you can afford. And if you don't mind buying DLC, I would highly recommend buying the uh, Thousand Islands US location because it is probably one of the best locations for earning money and XP early on. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Our first fish on the spinning rod here. What do we have here? This uh, lure says that it's made for Xander, so... I'm assuming it's a Xander, but... Could be something else. It's a fint. What is a fint? Apparently it's this. That definitely looks like a saltwater fish. It honestly looks like a mini tuna. I want to see what that's worth. How much do the fint sell for? That's not bad. 1281 for a one pound fish. That's real good. <laughs> this not so much. <laughs> We'll just go ahead and sell them, though. This location's pretty cool. I think I need to learn a bit more about it, though. But it's definitely a nice location so far. It's not quite the saltwater location I expected, but I guess it is like a river. Kind of like, uh, basically like the bay. So, like, it does have some saltwater species. So, it is our first taste of saltwater fishing, I guess. But it's mainly the species that can live in, like, the transitioning areas. Splinter without the IE and R, pretty much. Splinter's Discount Clone Flint. Pretty much. Uh, let's try chucking it over here. It's his evil twin. Holy.
Thought it was a Dollar General clone. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Flinter in fish form. That's what it is. Good old Flinter in fish form. Now there is a chance that if these bottom rods aren't working very well, it might be float rods that we'll have to use. We might have to see how the float rod fishing works out. Because there is some locations where float rods work better, other locations where bottom rods work better. This might be one of the locations where float rods are better. In fact, let's uh, go ahead and try one out. Let's see how the float rod does, because these bottom rods are not doing that good. It's a much lighter rod, but we'll uh, see how things go. I think it was actually this. Yeah, we'll try that out. We'll have to see how that does. How many Melabino uneven starfish have I caught? 12.12 12. times 12. Float fishing might actually not work. It's just, uh, it's floating down the river. That's not good. <laughs> That's not, that, yeah, it's not going to work. Well, uh, back to the drawing board. Back to the, uh, bottom rod it is. This is going to be a difficult location to figure out, I can already tell. Let's try one over there. See how that is. Uh, Pelicans, thank you for the super chat, man. Just got a diamond blue wildebeest after my third troll level 9 water buffalo in the past three days alone. All of them missing by less than one point. Guess it makes up for it a little bit. Oh yeah, definitely, man. I mean, wildebeest are great, so... That's definitely a good diamond to find. Unfortunate about those water buffalo. But thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate the support. Alright, maybe we need to try a new retrieval. Let's just go for a straight up... Reeling straight in. Uh, the uniform guiding technique or whatever. See if we can get out of this. Been grinding for a great one for Whitetail. Wanted to see if you could give me some tips. I'd say the best tips that I can give are all in my Great One Grinding video. I've got a video that's uh, titled How I Grind the Great One on Rancho Del Arroyo. I would recommend checking that video out because it will give you a ton of information on uh, how I do it. Much more than I could explain during a stream. So hopefully that will help you out. It should give you lots of info. Let's try something else out. I 
I mean, that's still good, Pelican. Catching any monsters? Yes, we did actually get one really nice fish. We got a 44-pound Atlantic salmon uh, at the previous location that we were at when we were uh, trying to level up to level 20. Ever since we got here, though, it's kind of been pretty slow. We're trying to figure out what's the best way to fish here. And so far, not too much luck. Only caught a couple fish. Don't have Rancho, only have Layton. Um, yeah, sadly, the tips in that video will not work on Layton because uh, Layton's deer act really weird. I really don't have too many tips to give for Layton Lakes, to be honest. Uh, Layton's kind of rough for grinding. Okay, that's too much weight, apparently. Yeah, we'll just have to go back to that. At least we caught something on this. Now let's recast with these. Hopefully we can get something on. Ooh, hold on. I just realized something. We have the wrong bait on this one. Yeah, I heard it was interesting, Landon. Didn't get to see it myself, but I heard it was a close one. Not too much action going on here. I definitely think I'm going to have to do some research on this location before uh, the next stream. Because I would like to go for some of the species here, especially like the sturgeon. But I don't really know too much about how to be efficient on here. Nice, Meme Central. That's awesome, dude. You know, let's move away from this area. Let's uh, try over here. Maybe it's just the location that's uh, not good. Maybe I need to move to a different spot. Let's try over here. Hey, Gruntly, we've been having a pretty good stream, man. We got ourselves leveled up to level 20, and now we're trying out a brand new location, trying to figure out what works here. You know, I actually just realized I've been going for like three hours now, which is longer than I intended to stream. I think what we're going to do is call it and I will do some more research on this location. And then either tomorrow or the day after we will do another stream and uh, try to catch some fish here. Since right now we haven't really had too much luck. I think I need to learn a little bit more about it. But I appreciate everybody dropping in. This has been an awesome stream. It's uh, great to see so many of you enjoying a different game besides Call of the Wild. It's uh, really awesome. And I appreciate each and every one of you dropping in. It's been quite a lot of fun. But we will uh, go ahead and end it there. We'll be back tomorrow with another live stream on Call of the Wild and possibly another one here. But until, uh, until then, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.